can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that n is a real number, and this equation n plus 5 raised to the fourth power plus n plus 3 raised to the fourth power equals 2, then our goal is to solve for the real value of n. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you got the correct answer. So, given this equation, n plus 5 raised to the fourth power plus n plus 3 raised to the fourth power equals 2, then our goal is to find the real value of n that satisfies this equation. Now, to answer this question, of course, let's analyze first the given equation and notice we have here n plus 5 and we have here n plus 3 now is this a coincidence that it is missing the term n plus 4 so maybe this is a hint or a clue for us so why not let t be equal to n plus 4 or let n plus 4 be equal to t and now let's solve for the value of n in terms of T. So if we do that, we get n equals t minus 4. Now, what we're going to do is to replace all of this n by its value t minus 4. And if we do that, we get something like this. And then take note that n equals t minus 4. So what we're going to do is to simplify this equation. And let's see what we got. All right, so t minus 4 plus 5, negative 4 plus 5, we have positive 1. And the negative 4 plus 3, this becomes negative 1. So our equation becomes t plus 1 is the fourth power plus t minus 1 is the fourth power equals 2. This is a really nice equation because we have positive 1 and negative 1. And if we expand this, some terms are eliminated or just 0. Now, your question is, how do we expand t plus 1 is the fourth power? All right. So we can use this formula. The formula for the expansion of x plus y raised to the fourth power must be equal to x raised to the fourth power plus 4x squared y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y to the fourth power. Or simply, you can use the Pascal's triangle. So here it is. Those are the coefficients of x plus y raised to the fourth power. We have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And this corresponds to the expansion of, again, x plus y raised to the nth power. So in this case, we have x plus y raised to the fourth power. We have x1, x raised to the fourth power, plus 4x cubed y, plus 6x squared y squared, plus 4xy cubed, plus 1y to the fourth power, and so on and so forth. Now, using this technique, we can now easily expand t plus 1 raised to the fourth power. And if we do, we get something like t raised to the fourth power plus 40 cubed plus 60 squared plus 40 plus 1. Now, how about x minus y raised to the fourth power? Notice the sign of the expansion of x minus y raised to the fourth power. So the only difference to x plus y raised to the fourth power is the sign. So we have positive, negative, positive, negative, and positive so it has alternating sign so if we apply this to t minus 1 raised to the fourth power we have something like t raised to the fourth power minus 40 cubed plus 60 squared minus 40 plus 1 and now our goal in the left hand side of our equation is to add them so why not let's add these two results and notice this we can eliminate positive 40 cubed and the negative 40 cubed. This is just 0. Also, we have positive 40 and the negative 40. This is also equal to 0. Now, our expression becomes t raised to the fourth power plus 60 squared plus 1 plus t raised to the fourth power plus 60 squared plus 1. Now, let's combine like terms. So, let's combine 2 t raised to the fourth power. And then, let's combine these two 60 squared. And then, let's combine these two ones. So, the left-hand side of our equation becomes 2 t raised to the fourth power plus 12 t squared plus 2 equals 2. Now, let's focus on this. 
equation. Now, what we're going to do is to subtract 2 on both sides. And if we do that, we get 2 t raised to the fourth power plus 12 t squared equals 0. And this 2 and 12 are divisible by 2, so why not? Let's divide all of this term by 2. And if we do that, we get t raised to the fourth power plus 6 t squared equals 0. Now, from here, we can now factor out t squared because t squared is common to these two terms. So if we factor out t squared, we have t squared multiplied by t squared plus 6. So if we distribute t squared, we get t squared times t squared. We have t raised to the fourth power. And t squared multiplied by 6, we have 6 t squared. So the left-hand side of our equation, we can replace this with t squared multiplied by t squared plus 6 equals 0. Now, since it is equal to 0, so it follows that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So we can say that t squared equals 0 or t squared plus 6 equals 0. Now, take note. n is a real number. Therefore, this t is also a real number. Alright? Now, keep in mind. So, let's solve for the value of t. Get the square root on both sides given the first equation. And if we do that, we get t equals 0. So, we have the first value of t. We have t equals 0. Now, how about on the second equation? So let's subtract 6 on both sides. And then let's get the square root on both sides. So we have t equals positive or negative square root of negative 6. Now this is not a real number because square root of negative 6 is just i multiplied by square root of 6. So this is not a real number. So this case is not possible. Therefore, the only real value of t that satisfies this equation must be equal to t equals 0. But don't forget that our goal is to find the value of n and not the value of t. So the value of n is just t minus 4. And we know t equals 0. So we can replace this t with 0. So we have n equals 0 minus 4. And 0 minus 4 is just negative 4. And that is the only real value of n that satisfies this equation n plus 5 raised to the fourth power plus n plus 3 raised to the fourth power equals 2 and as always we are done of course this is very easy to check if we replace n with negative 4 right here so we have negative 4 plus 5, we have positive 1 raised to the fourth power, we know this is just 1. And negative 4 plus 3, we have negative 1, now raise it to the fourth power and we still got 1. And 1 plus 1 is just 2. Alright, so thank you so much for watching this video. So see you on our next.